Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Happy Hour Podcast, fully fermented. This is our local feature episode. Of course, we're here at Full Tilt Brewing. Cheers. And we're sitting here with Nick. Nick, you're one of the guys that are in charge here at Full Tilt. For some reason. And we see, like, there's all kinds of pinball machines. There's some little, you know, kid arcade games right here. Yeah. What What was the back? What made you guys, when you started this, go with the whole video game, the whole Tilt yeah. idea? So, well, I guess just our, our view of this place in general, it was a uh, culmination of uh, myself and Dan are the two owners. Okay. It was a, it's a culmination of kind of everything we like about a drinking venue, a, drink, a tap room. Yeah. And it's something for everybody. We're, we're in a pretty cool neighborhood. It's a lot of families. Yeah. But it's, you know, it's the beer industry where there's a lot of younger people, a lot of older people. So, I mean, we have TVs, we have board games, we have arcade games, we have food, we have beer, wine, liquor. It's just kind of... You know, something that we like to do, play arcade games, and giving people something to do. Because, okay. you know, ultimately, the longer – and there are more things they're, to do, they're, they're going to hang out. It's just yeah, like having yeah. a good tune. Right. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we, we actually went through a couple different vendors. All of our arcade games, except for the pinball, is free to play. Really? Yeah. Well, so we, we, we tried all the pay things. And, you know, it was more of an asshole than it was for yeah. us. So yeah. we did free to play. So just come. We even had little kids arcade games for, yeah. for yeah. toddlers. Yeah. You, you have a, what was it, Paw Patrol and Pac Man? Yeah. Yeah. There were kids over there. Yeah. You also have a couple of board games. Yeah. What now have the, now, I'm sure you guys have had a handful of games come and go yes. over the time you've been here. Yes. Any that have came and went that you're like, oh, shit. I really wish that could have stayed, but yeah, now yeah. it's gone. Honestly, so the first round of games that we had when we first opened up um, was amazing. We had three pinball machines okay, and uh, NBA Jam and just a bunch that I can't remember. NBA but then, you know, that was my jam. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, we actually, the first year, it was, yeah. it was March, for March Madness, we had an NBA Jam tournament here. Nice. And nice. Stan and I ended up winning. And I, I promise you, like we got accused of cheating and like, <laughs> practicing. We came in cold. We we did no cheat codes, hands off. So no cheat codes, yeah. and we won that thing fair and square. The question is, who were you playing as? Everybody, oh, okay. anybody, friends, guests. No, no, what team? Oh, what team? Yeah, what oh, team? Oh, yeah. Um, honestly, I can't even remember. That's a great question. <laughs> uh, Dan would remember that. Yeah. Uh, I can't recall to be honest. Dan, Dan couldn't make it. He was here a little too late yeah. last week, <laughs> so he's uh, he had to opt out for the. How uh, how many fires would you assume happened? During that tournament, you know how it's like he's on. Oh fire. yeah, no, it was not as many as you would think. Really? Because we had, we didn't play it that much. Like we weren't that, actually that good. It's kind of out there, to, to be honest. Besides the win, dude. Like yeah. it, that brings back so much with being kids and playing games like that. Like just being able to have a game yeah. where you're front flipping all the way across yeah, a basketball court absolutely. and then yeah. slam dunking. Yeah, like, the more absurd yeah. the better. That's why we have Blitz in the back. Oh, no, it's it's, it's, it's the ball on the agenda. Right? Yep. Blitz that was there, which was the. Yep. My favorite football game yep, of all time. Absolutely. Because what beats being able to tackle the whole like line Nothing. before the ball's even what else do you need? Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So the first we had that, that was part of our first round. And then I hate to say it, the dirty word COVID happened. Yeah. So yeah. people weren't allowed to, allowed to stand, they weren't allowed to touch things. And uh, so we had to get rid of all the games because they weren't ours. There, there's a company okay. we go with that they drop the games off free to use. Really? They they maintain them when they, they break. Should. And then they come collect the money every once in a while. They give you half. They take half. Pretty good setup, but we had to get rid of it. By the time COVID was phasing out, we were ready to get, get, get games back in here. They had already rented the games out. Oh. So then we went through this whole thing of trying to find another vendor like that. And it was just – we don't need to get into details, but it was a mess, man. Like, they were we, – we didn't realize how good we had it with that first yeah. vendor. Uh, and then – so that's when, one of the reasons we tried the free stuff anyway because – just it's just easier to let people just play. Bartenders don't have to worry about quarters and dollars. Anyway, the pinball machine is actually the original company. We went back really? to it's like, hey guys, you have something. We've that, we've only had it now for two weeks. Yeah, brand new, and uh, they're bringing the Star Wars one apparently it's soon too. So yeah, yeah. that's good shit. That's yeah, good shit. Yeah. So you guys actually, you guys haven't been open all, like haven't been around all that long. Like probably three, four, four years here in this location as a company. We've been around for eleven. Okay. We started at Peabody Heights, which is actually just okay. two miles down the road here. Yeah, yeah. We were the second beer ever brewed at Peabody. Really? And then we were there for six, six and a half years until so we moved into this spot. Now we're fully out of here. Actually, I take it back. We've been fully out of here until uh, February 1st. We're going to start contract brewing our core brands out of Oliver Brewing Company. Really? Is, nice. Nice. So that, that way we can get our Hops Cat and our Palmer Pale Ale constantly <laughs> in rotation. 
and do more one-off and special releases here because that's that's the fun stuff that we want to do. Is yeah, new speaking of your special releases, yeah. we actually yes. have some of your special releases. Yes. You got to tell us about this. Yes. Yes. Okay. But first, what are we currently drinking? So, of course, me and Matt yeah. looks like we have the same thing. Yeah. You have what you have right there. What What are we currently drinking? Yeah. So this one is called Start in the Morning. It's a hazy okay. session IPA, only uh, five point seven percent. It's the best time to start drinking. It's in the morning. Exactly. <laughs> you can't drink all day unless you start in the morning. Right? Yeah. yeah. So. Never stop. You're never gonna hang over there. Yeah. There you go. I don't think that works, but I'll, 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 I'll try sometimes. It worked for me for ten years, but then it kind of went out. You got a good run. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. So start in the morning is our session. I think we're gonna try to keep this one on all times. Okay. Session or uh, hazies are a good intro level um, into beer. Anyway, for people uh, that maybe don't like beer that much, okay, it's a softer, or easier beer approach. drinker. Like, sure. you know, yeah, absolutely. One of the kids playing arcade games, they come over and just say, yeah. As long as you're not looking at me, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, so beyond that, yeah, so the, then you get down to the session, and it's yeah. only 5.7. You know, a lot of hazies are seven, eight percent plus, and you can only have a couple before yeah. you can't drive necessarily. But, um, one, one thing I'm really excited about this beer is a lot of session IPAs they end up being thin. A okay. like thin yeah. body. This one feels like a full beer, yeah. and it's only five point seven. That looks yeah, yeah, it, it is. Yeah, three <laughs> C's on it. Yeah, that's funny because the last couple of beers we had, they were heavy. Like the one we, we had two last right, night, yeah. that was twelve percent, and the other was nine. What was that? And, uh, what was it? It was um. Uh, what was it? Lexington Brewing. Okay. Uh, Barrel Maple Stout. Yeah. Okay. So that Sounds was heavy. Out. Out. And then the other one was something like but... French Canadian beer. And I can't pronounce the name or okay. remember what the hell the name was. Right. But yeah. I hadn't eaten because I've oh. been on a diet, like you know, back my wrestler diet. Okay. So I drank those. And like as the episode was starting to end, yeah. I like, like Matt yeah. saw. <laughs> I was no longer I was like, oh, in my body. <laughs> and we have a beer called Utini, which okay. is our barrel aged quad, which is 14%. Really? Yeah, yeah. So that one, that was they, that I think it might actually be a tick higher than that because this, we, we packaged it twice now. And the second time it, it sat in the barrels longer. Really? So I think it absorbed more of the whiskey in it. So it's, it's fantastic. But like maybe Sounds save it towards the end. Well, unless you're trying to have a fun episode, we can do it right now. I, <laughs> depends on how you want it to go. I mean, I could just have a wife come pick us up. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Happy. I like it. Like but no, it. so anyways, yeah. talking about yeah. your feature, your specialty beers. Well, well, real quick, we'll get yeah. to that. But yeah. just I want to address your two yeah. uh, as well. Because oh, yeah. there's a line of beers that we have, which I, I'm really excited about personally. It's called Tap House Classic. Okay. So again, so like the hazy is a newer thing. It's, it's an easy way to get an IPAs. We have these crazy sours. We have the barrel aged, whatever. We have um, IPA, all these things. But it's it's sometimes you get too carried away with the fancy, crazy trends, whatever, yeah. that you lose track of what beer actually is yeah. and what it was, right? Yeah. So we have this line of beers called Tap House Classics, nice. where we go back to just a Pilsner or a Kolsch. Nice. Or this, nice. And this this one is just a, a – we did an Irish style, uh, a 70 shilling. It's a Scottish ale. Okay. This one's a pale lager, nice. um, which is – it's what it is. It's a oh, lager with great. kind of a pale ale, yeah. kind of combination of great. two styles. And I think it's a very drinkable – Awesome, like old school, just beer. Yeah, and like me, like I like a lot of lagers, but I like a lot of like I guess what is it uh, but whatever, but like 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 gold. Beer. Yeah, so I like sure. a lot of gold, but I like a lot of gold as well. Okay, but you know a little bit of everything. But you know what? What do you think is you guys' most popular beer that you serve? That's got to be our Hops and Cat IPA. Okay. You can kind of see it behind the banner here. That's that's actually him up there. Okay, so, so he's yeah. made it up on the wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He made it up on the wall. He is. That, so that was my cat back in the day. He's not with us anymore. Yeah. So we, when he passed, we uh we had to come up with a, a memorial beer for him. Because uh, he was, we were from running, we would have parties. He'd be running around for our feet. And he was just a cool brewery cat um, back when we were, again, homebrewing. But uh, so when we launched that beer, geez, I wish I could remember the year, but it's been <laughs> eight, nine, ten, I don't know, a long, long time ago, almost really? a decade probably. Oh, we did shit. we did a bar crawl out of uh, in Fe uh, Fells Point, and uh, we raised something like three to four thousand dollars for parks with that. Really, and it's just it's just a really nice. It's become it's kind of changed along the years too with whatever beer what IPAs are. So it's kind of a blend between a West Coast and the East Coast IPA. It's, it's kind of hazy. Yeah. It's kind of West Coast, and it, it's it's cool. It's it's a cool like blend of styles, and it's just a really good IPA. And that ends. We have to brew that thing constantly, which is why we're starting to contract brew it out because it's just yeah. it's constantly taking up a tank, which is awesome. But and how many yeah. uh, how many tanks do you guys? Have? So we have six fermenters now. Okay. Um, and. Six bright tanks, I want to say. Might be seven. 
<laughs> I'm, losing, I'm forgetting. Right now. It's all playing together. But yeah. You know, a bunch, but uh, they get filled up pretty quick because we gotta we gotta turn these beers around. Yeah, yeah. Like, what 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 happens when one of those tanks breaks? Like, what happens? Like, what goes? Like, have well, you ever had one of the things where you like look and there was just a river of beer flowing? You're just like, we haven't had rivers. Shit. Well, one thing, like, so the tanks won't yeah. break themselves. Like, okay. I, ideally, right? Yeah. I, I can't never say never. I might have just screwed myself. What will happen is like a little. We just hear an ocean. And we're right, like, right, right. We'll just end this. Okay, we'll, uh, we're gonna go drink some Ross. Awesome. Drink <laughs> out of this mess. <laughs> no, and so. A couple. This has only happened here a couple times, but you'll see pretty terrible videos on the internet where one time it happens is uh, when you're um, adding hops during fermentation, the beer is still very active. Okay. If you don't kind of drop the hops in and kind of close it off, it can erupt out like a okay. like, like a right. volcano, it's like yeah. literally like a volcano. And I had there's actually if I go back on the security cam footage, we have it happening to our brewer. Oh, Almost oh, knocked him off the ladder. It got it, it got the uh, electronic like all the electronics. As he's up there, there. you like. <laughs> I, think, I think if he wasn't so scared immediately, he might have. But it like it basically knocked. Him I would have just put my arms out like yeah. Titanic. I was like, "This yeah. is how we're doing I this. Go. We're doing this. Yeah. This is just how it works. I'm in it now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is yeah. yeah. No. So like, yeah, we haven't had too many of those. It happens twice. And so far, that's it. Um, mostly, it's just it's boring things that break, like a pump will stop. Or, okay. Or, okay. Yeah, it's just slow as hell. Nothing too dramatic. Yeah. yeah, and of course, your featured beers that you talked about. Of course, we have some lined up. Yes. Yes. And I saw it online, and of course, anybody that knows this show knows that myself did pro wrestling, Cypress did pro wrestling. Awesome. There's a lot of pro wrestling associated with this show. I often tell Great. people, I have no idea how to do a podcast, but yeah. I know how to be a pro wrestler. Yeah. So, you know, and you guys have this line called the hardcore legends yeah that's so we do a series of uh, wrestling themed beers yeah. the first one we did was john cena and rick Flair. we did an east coast west coast thing nice um we did uh nwo red and white versus uh white and black oh sorry red and black white and black <laughs> and uh and now we're on um mcfoley the four nice. faces of foley we call it yeah so we had the dude sir which really is our, cool. our hazy fruited okay. Uh, um, orange, um, prickly pear, and banana. Yeah. Um, we have the base hazy, which is our hardcore legend. We have um, the bang bang, which is our west coast. Okay. And which one am I missing? This. Which one am I missing? Black ride. Oh yeah, the black ride. Which have nice so that one, that one's interesting, and it, it kind of they're still very fresh. It's only been out about a week and a half or two weeks. Okay. That one we put a lot of rye malt in that beer, and it kind of gets covered by the chocolate of the dark malts. Okay. So it, it's pretty interesting, but it's getting more rye, I think, as we go along. What What yeah. made you guys think? So, because of course you said you did see a talking, different player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What made you guys think? Let's do Mick Foley. Was it the fact that he had so many faces of Foley's? Yeah, I mean, you know, like we yeah. can knock out four. Yeah, of you know, course that's an attraction. It's just because, <laughs> also, he was one of my favorite wrestlers. Like yeah. just back when I, I I can't watch this much anymore. I have two kids, I <laughs> throw it on the way. This thing, I got another job. You know what I mean? So yeah. I, I don't watch it much anymore. So we we kind of go back to old school wrestlers. And it's like this it's got to be a favorite. Sandman beer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Steve Austin beer. Yeah. What do you think beer? Well, you so, think Steve Austin is Sandman? Sand, absolutely. Yeah. So Steve Austin has his own beer now. Oh, yeah. 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 Cool, yeah. So, yeah, that would be awesome to do something with those guys. What yeah, do you and, think? Yeah. and actually, I think I told you before we went live, is uh you know where we know Al Snow. Al Snow yeah. in the show. Yeah. Been with we, we, we we did the whole thing where Cyclotes had a feud with Al Snow. Yes. Because he accused Al Snow of stealing his finish. Yes. Which we did. Al Snow had no idea who he was. <laughs> Tell me, did a whole promo with it. Oh yeah, we did. Yeah. We, just, we did a whole right, episode. That out. And the first time Al Snow couldn't make it, uh -huh. so he no showed. So That's he perfect. had to reschedule. That's what it was. And like, so he actually no showed and actually had to reschedule. Yeah, he had to reschedule. So he yeah. embraced that. So yeah. he embraced that. Why is it This whole promo. Yeah. And the name of the episode was Al Snow Fears Cyclotes. Yes. And we have a team yeah. story that we had made up that says Al Snow Fears Cyclotes. That's amazing. Yeah. And then yeah. they. they Do you have any of those left? Yeah, they're, they're on our like, T-Square. Okay, they're on our T-Square. So, yeah. 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 so let, me, let me know. I like to try to get yeah. a lot of our guest shirts. Yeah. I can send you one of those or whatever Absolutely. if you want. But yeah, I'll talk to Al because he does stand-up comedy now. Okay. Maybe you guys, as I said, I don't know, financial-wise or whatever, maybe you guys can talk to him say, hey, can we release a beer and have you come in and do comedy? Yeah. Because that would be a cool thing to do because yes. who wouldn't want an Al Snow beer right? yeah. signed by Al Snow. That'd be amazing. Like, that would be amazing. Well, it's comedy on top. Oh, 
yeah. Yeah, we, yeah we've, we've done several comedy shows here. We actually have one coming up. I don't know if you guys know the name Zane Lamprey. Okay. He had yeah. a, a TV show back in the day called Free Sheets. And yeah. tell them when Drake made it easy. Um, now he's touring the country. He's filming his Amazon Prime special. Really? He's, nice. he's filming up in uh, Inglewood Brewing up in right outside of Hershey on okay. like February 25th. But he's doing like a uh, practice warm up show here on November 22nd. Okay. So we're going to be selling tickets that here, I hope, this this coming week. Nice. So, nice. yeah, and it works out well. We, we set them up right here in front, got yeah. the spotlights on them. We fill this with seats. Okay. Kind of shows here are pretty cool. And also, also, I'm not sure if you've ever had them here, but shout out to Eric Woodworth, Tommy Simbazo, and Ashley Pontius, who are all really good friends of our show. Okay. So they're all over comedians. Actually, Eric Woodworth has been on 98 Rock a couple of times. Tommy Simbazo has been on it. Yeah. So I'll talk to them, see, get them a hold of you guys, yeah. see if they want to come out and do some comedy. But let's try some of this hardcore. Yeah, that's all right. I, I, jumped, jumped, up, I jumped early. I jumped early. I jumped early. I couldn't wait. You're too late. You're late. You're fine. <laughs> so what is the first one? Yeah, so we started, it was hard to choose, but was, so we started with the base hazy. Okay. Hardcore legend. Hardcore legend. Yeah. Okay, so the... Uh, the short hair yeah. Nick Foley, that's yeah. what that is, and we're going to zoom in on all that's these. Executive Nick Foley, yeah, 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 so yeah. that's kind of what we're looking for, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, all right, so let's do it. So, I'm uh, so I don't watch a whole lot of modern wrestling right yeah, now, like, yeah. I can't keep up every once in a while. Actually, let me give you some background on this. That's good. Every stuff. time we do a wrestling beer, we do a, co a collaboration with Humble Beer Society. Nice, nice. It's this guy, Scooter. It's my best buddy in the whole world. He works at, he's a bartender at Max's Tap House. You just had HBS. That, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's that's his like side thing where he's trying to just introduce people to good beer and hanging out and being good to each other. Hook him up thing. with us, Well, Yeah. Well, hey, we'll have him on the show, that, man. That'd be awesome. Especially in this yeah. local thing. So yeah, that's, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Um, that'd be awesome. He, so he's trying to run his, he, or run, he's trying to get started his own whale, uh, whale lounge okay. podcast at Max's. Nice. But kind of incorporate Humble Beer Society, all these, all these things. But anyway, um, the reason I bring that up too is this coming Monday in Philly, is oh, 30. 30 and we're going yeah oh we're going. Nice. yeah he, nice. he surprised me with tickets to it so we're nice. going we got a hotel are here. you guys uh gonna do wrestlemania in philly so here's the thing <laughs> yes I, so i say yes yeah. but so does every other 25 to yeah. 45 year old male on the east coast right you know how long it's been since we've had a wrestlemania down this way that's the thing like, yeah right. so yeah. literally every single person yeah. wants to go and the way i've seen these concert tickets go like blink 182 oh. and it's my, really my, wife, my, my uh, wife is a swifty so oh, yeah. that whole yeah. taylor yeah. Ticket yeah. Yeah. Debacle, i am very familiar with that yeah because, because the eagles are supposed to be coming back yeah. around yeah. okay yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Eagles. billy joel billy, billey billey joel joel like that Nicks, that's yeah. i have the tickets yeah. my toy tickets for like regular seating to ship it's like 300 and some dollars yeah and see the was, was like, ridiculous wow. at camden yeah. yards also i see i i don't know i don't know that i could ever i love yeah. Live music. It's one of my beer and live music are like my go to things. Yeah. I don't know that I could. I, I have some like favorite bands and I don't know that I could pay $300 for like yeah. my all time favorite bands. It, it's it's insane. Especially like Telepia Pantera next in Jersey. I know. I, know. I, that's, that's, I cannot miss that. I don't care what it costs. Yeah. So I feel Metallica. We saw Metallica at Raven Stadium because Matt vanished. Yeah. I was like, I'm going to go get a beer. Yeah. And he was gone for like the whole time of Metallica. And when yeah. he came back, his glass. Were broke and there was blood on his face. Tell me you're up in the mosh pit for it. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I beat the shit out of some like little kid. I feel bad. <laughs> yeah. uh, was he in the mosh pit? Yeah, very good. Yeah. The very good. He up like Al Snow and shook him like that. That's I mean, that's what it says. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I don't know. I wasn't there. I was yeah. seeing him from the Sounds right. I don't know him very well yet, but it sounds. I, I, could put you I, didn't, see, I didn't know what he was So, like, he, he was bleeding. So, like, I took his blood because it wasn't my blood. Yeah. And I just wiped it on my face and I said, get back in there. And I threw him back in the pit. Like, now, what's I get in the sandwich? That yeah. young kid is right now. He's a therapy. That's his being. Right. We're thinking of the sound. The sound. Yeah. yeah. That kid's going to be yeah. next Nick Foley because I have. Yes. <laughs> but no, this, this is, I would imagine it's this a hard would be, core legend. you know, the Mick Foley, the commissioner yeah. of yeah. all these beers, which has, you know, the whole wearing the flannel. Like, yeah. I, I, I like it. Yeah. It's, it's almost, just an easy beer. Yeah. And yeah. the thing is, it's, I mean, it's 8%. So we, I think it's masked pretty well, which is a little bit dangerous. But yeah, <laughs> oh, but real quick to Metallica, that was my first concert ever. Really? Was Metallica when I was 16, it was Summer Sanitarium. Oh, uh, I was there. I was there. I was there. Was so, but here's the thing. Yes. Yeah. 5,000. Uh, yeah. System of the Down. Yeah. Yep. Here's the thing, though. 
I didn't know anything about concerts. I was 16. Yeah, it was man. my first thing. <laughs> I, I didn't know what a lot for was. He ran into a man in the mosh pit. Well, yeah. He, 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 he threw me around. Right. Right. <laughs> Oh, back he in time, time. Yeah. Yeah. Mel Gibson and uh, Brave yes, yes. just with your blood on his face, like. <laughs> yeah. no, so I didn't, I didn't get into the mosh pits on that one. Uh, but I didn't know encore was a thing. So when the music went off, we we're like, my my ride scene. Oh, go. uh, uh, yeah. So we bounced, and then we're getting into one of our friends' mom's car, or yeah. whatever band, probably. And like fireworks started going off, and the music started. I'm like, oh, oh, man. Man. <laughs> bands are not notorious for them. I think. Uh, well, look for my Valentine. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, they're, they're old now. They need to right. yeah. Yeah. Well, when I see Bullet for my Valentine, they did that. They like went yeah. off stage. Yeah. And it was like 10 minutes, and everybody was standing around yelling for them to come back yeah. on. No, I was like, all right, well, guys, we should get out of here because, you know, this yeah. fucking show is over. And then you hear the fucking drums. And I'm like, fuck yeah. The beat, the beat, it's the lights. Right. Right. If the lights are coming in, then they're coming back. Oh, yeah. right. Me and my wife went to see the Foo Fighters. And we recently? Saw, not recently. Okay. I mean, it was the time before that when they were at Merriweather. I, yeah, I saw them at Merriweather. And, oh, that and I think show? it was like three years ago. Yeah. Okay. Was no, that last time they were yes. here? Okay. No, they were um, somewhere close, but not okay. there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Anyway. But Meriwether, it was the kind of thing where he got in trouble because he kept he's like, I'm going to do one more fucking song. He, and then he looked and he's like, you're getting pretty pissed at me. <laughs> and he kept on, he yeah. did like five additional songs. When they when they yeah. popped his head up on the big show. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. With Taylor Hawkins was there. Like yeah. he was on that screen with him at that time. Right. Yeah. And, yeah, that's the sense, or, yeah. I was I was fortunate enough. This was years ago now. Um, man, I'm blanking on what venue it was. It was one of the smaller venues. I think it was Sonar. Okay. Um, I saw Taylor Hawkins band. Like, really? When he he sung and played drums, and it was the most incredible thing. Like he, oh, I guess he was let he could let loose and do his own thing, but yeah. he was incredible. I love those small yeah. venues. Like one thing, and, and anybody Sonar watching, was great. At home, yeah. 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 absolutely. Anybody watching at home, if you take a visit to Boston. You know, make sure you check out some of our local music venues. Record Theater just opened back up. Yes. That's when I saw right. Five Finger Death Punch for the first time when they first came out. Wow. It was that record. I don't remember them because I was too drunk <laughs> trying to steal the fish that was in the fish tank <laughs> out there. Dude, that place but, was going to yeah, fall yeah. apart. But, yeah. but they yeah. redid record. Yes. We had Sonar. We had Bourbon Street, Baltimore. Like, what is that? What, there's Auto Bar. Yeah, there's Auto Bar. Like, there's Actually, so right, right up the street. Uh, Ramsey. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, right up the street from us right now, there's a place called Zen West. Yes. Right. Actually, shout out. We're going to be at Zen West yeah. in, uh, on February 4th. Yeah. Our good friends at Light the Fight at. Yeah. We'll be performing at Zen West. There's actually so a band uh, called... Uh, um, Kings of the Wild Things. Okay. So they we've had all time low play here a couple times. Really? Well, Kings of the Wild Things opened for the second show that we did with those guys. They're playing Zen West tonight. They actually just stopped. You missed them just by a couple minutes. Really? Oh, they nice. stopped in here, got a couple beers. They're going to play at Zen West tonight. We're actually going back and forth with them. They have a new album coming out, Kings really? of the Wild Things. Nice. And we're thinking about we're trying to work with the schedule, do the album release here, do a five year here. But yeah, so Zen West, they took over the bar next to them and okay. they turned it into a real small concert venue. And it's it's small, but it's legit. I mean, so we have live music here, and, and it's great, but we don't have, like, the lights and the, the, the sound production that they do. It's a pretty solid venue. Actually, uh, Cold is playing up there in March. Remember Cold? Really? They're doing their 20-year anniversary of Year of the Spider. That's awesome. Yes, it's pretty. And they're doing it at no West. Yeah. Awesome. Way, way back when, and this podcast, way back in the day, like 10 years ago, before we started doing a podcast, for the TV show, and we had Filter on the show, we had PMZ on the show. Yes, Everyone, like, yeah. uh, what was it, Egypt Central? Okay, we had them on the show, so yeah, it was it was cool talking to a lot of those guys. With that, we had a uh, West Scantlin, yeah, Puddle of Mud, he okay. was on the podcast, yeah. he was whacked out of his mind. Uh, when is he but, not? Yeah. <laughs> right, but, like, is he in the first yeah. or jail, or, or is he okay yeah. right now? Or, yeah, what is it? Uh, the guy at Hardy. So how? Uh, what's, what's the over under? What's the over under on how many shows they're going to make it until he's? Oh, the line two. Of the <laughs> there, there, there's I, don't, I shouldn't say that. I have the best of a guy. I'm not trying to talk. Oh man, he's a puddle of mud. He was awesome when we talked to him. He was a great guy. To him. He had a bait. We we're like, what's in that bait? Because at some point he was like, <laughs> like on Zoom while we were yeah. talking to him. Yeah. And when we were done, when that closed off, we hit done on Zoom and we all started laughing hysterically. Like, yeah. what did we just yeah. witness? Yeah. Well, yeah. What is happening? <laughs> the guy loves baseball, though. I yeah. remember okay. what team he was oh, yeah. talking about. The Chiefs and uh, what's so the Chiefs are what? Uh, Chiefs are Kansas City. So the Royals. The Royals and the Chiefs. 
Yeah, that's what it was. Okay. Yeah, he's so, a big baseball guy. I didn't yeah. know that. Okay. It's fun when you're talking to these guys, you have no <laughs> idea about them. They're like, oh, yeah, fuck yeah, a little bit, because he saw all like our Orioles stuff, because we have yeah. Orioles stuff posted yeah. in the background and yeah. stuff. And he's like, like, I fuck, you know, start talking about baseball. He's a pretty cool guy, though. All right, so what's yeah. the second one we have here? All right, so this is the this is the dude, sir. All right, so, so this is the dude, sir. Yeah, so it's the same base, hazy as what you just had. Uh, but with uh, orange, banana, and prickly pear. Okay. And, and I got to get what you did last time. I already said it. Kind of <laughs> oh, it's yeah, amazing. Yeah, like yeah, you okay, you yeah. can taste like yeah. the fruitiness yeah. in it. Like, yeah. Oh, we use we, that's part of our thing. Full tilt brewing. We're, we're never half ass here. Yeah. Like it's, yeah. it's full tilt. Oh, yeah. And I mean, dude, like I totally feel like getting like sweet that. shin music. Yeah. Like as it hits <laughs> my lip. Like, like you can feel yeah. the oh, yeah. half. Mercy, yeah. like you know, as you Absolutely. try it, yeah, yeah. So it's interesting every time I taste one of these, um, it tastes a little bit different. I'm getting a little bit more of the prickly bear before than I was before. I was getting more banana, uh, before it's it kind of it's, it's I can taste the banana. Yeah. 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 <laughs> what, what's great is with all these cans, and of course, we're going to be recording footage all throughout here, so you guys will see it when you're actually watching this online. Um, but the cans, all the cans are headless. I well, no, no, no. So, you, oh, no. But the thing is, you can stack them. Okay. And then you see the, you see the whole picture. That, that is great. It's a pretty genius. Yeah. Right because now. I see them just from right here, and they all look like, and then I saw the one. So I thought it was just that one yeah. who had his head. I did not realize <laughs> that it was like that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, yeah. It's got a lot of Yeah, so the artists. See, the yeah. faces are full. Yes. All in one. They all have faces. <laughs> we couldn't do a thing called four faces. So we only have one face. <laughs> that's crazy. That's crazy. Now, I'm just with these. Now, you got two more, but are there yeah. any other. Wrestling themed ones that you guys want to do. Um, dude, I, yeah, the list is endless. Uh, I don't know. Mostly, it's, it's whatever we're feeling at that time when it's time to do another. One. I, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, anybody from mostly we're targeting um Mick Foley era. Stone Cold would be yeah. a great one. DX would be a great one. Yeah. Well, you know, you know, Mick. Mick does do stand up. I don't think I do that. Yeah, okay. Mick Foley has yeah. done stand up. I think that's where Al Snow got the idea from because okay. a lot of Mick Foley's jokes were about Al Snow. Yeah. So, so his whole thing is rebuttal against Mick Foley. Much, yeah. if, if that's what he says forever yeah. burned, then he has and to go back. Like Al Snow, I'm not sure if you follow Al Snow on social so media, but on Twitter, he always posts all these crazy jokes okay. that are just hilarious. Like he, he, posts, he posts stuff like there was one he was talking about his wife Jessica. Okay. And he's like, he found a box that pretty much had like his will and testament, and it was something around the lines of wanting his kids to find the box where he confesses to a murder or something like that. But he <laughs> I saw that. that, that was Twitter? Yeah, 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 yeah. It was on Twitter, and like they find it years later, and then they have questions or whatever. And it's, that's amazing. Yeah, and that's a really it's terrible. Idea. Yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> it's like, really it's good idea. totally yeah, out snow. Like anybody who knows out snow, like the whole thing with Cypress and out snow. We were yeah, doing yeah. a show. And uh, where where was it? Was it Pittsburgh? Pittsburgh yeah. Okay, so it was Pittsburgh. And Socrates walks up to Al Snow and he's like, "Hey, Al, you know, it's a pleasure to meet you." Blah blah. blah. Said another. My name's Socrates. And what was it? He was like, "Okay, cool, that's nice." <laughs> <laughs> like, well, you were the first show I ever worked on like twelve years ago, and he's like. That was a long time ago. <laughs> so he had a heat with Al Snow. Yeah. Like 13 years. Right. Right. So awesome. 13 year heat. So when we were able to get Al Snow on, I feel on an Al. I'm like, Al, look, we have this gimmick where our buddy has had heat with you yes. for 13 years. Yes. We need to play on this. He's like, I'm in. That's cool. So but the best yeah. part is I've never done shit. At, at the end of the show, Al Snow said, and I quote, I acknowledge the hard break. He acknowledged <laughs> And that, that was the highlight of Cypress' yeah, life. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 I just, it's, you know, West Coast now is. Well, the old. And of course, this is the Cat Coach. Yeah, it's just the bed. So, well, yeah, so the hazies are going to be more, they're soft or hazy. Let me look at that. That's crystal clear. Oh, yeah. The hops are a little more earthy, more piney. Um, I, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm talking East Coast. So there's East Coast and there's hazy, which are both different. East Coast can look like this, but those hops are a little more earthy, piney. West Coast is going to be a little more citrus fruit. 
Um, but yeah, so these this is my go to kind of IPA. Okay. And this was what this is how Hops Cat started. It looked like this, and now it's kind of a hybrid between this and a Western. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, this and a, and a Hazy. <laughs> I'm blending all my stuff together. No, no, you're good. Cheers, fellas. Cheers. Yeah, this is the bang bang. Bang bang. And then, oh, yeah, so all the shirt, we took his face off and put myself in the scooter. That's, what, <laughs> that's, yeah, yeah. that's great. That's amazing. Yeah, so the artist that does all, our, all of our things now, for the most part, yeah. um, his name is uh, Phil, uh, Philip Pilgrim. Okay. His, his, uh, is he his, a Pilgrim? <laughs> he is not. <laughs> he's not. If his name was Phil, was Phil, Philip Pilgrim, yeah. but he was actually a Pilgrim, nice that would be amazing. Be nice. I mean, <laughs> where would he be Pilgrim? Pilgrimaging? <laughs> What's the word I'm looking at? Anyway, in that. Where <laughs> was the word I'm looking at? Pilgrimaging. Pilgrimaging. I don't think Pilgrimaging. I don't think I just I don't feel that. like he just needs to be wearing the Pilgrim, Pilgrim outfit. Like he just sure. needs to do that. I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna let him know. Yeah. Yeah. Like all that yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. Especially around Thanksgiving. But yeah. So uh, yeah. Art, his name is on Instagram. Arts and Ale. That is good. And that so he does all of our cartoony cool. stuff. Yeah. Um, nice. And then nice. um, we have another artist. Very, who does very talented. Things. Very talented. Oh, he's that, incredible. That, yeah. Very good. Yeah, yeah. incredible. But um, yeah. So he's also he's working on a couple things for us um, coming up. Right now we have a line of uh, not beers but like soda seltzers. Okay. Called Nick Spritz. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody's going to sell to That's the new like, thing. Yeah. Sell to Well, like, you know, it's like just crazy. Yeah. Or just like, so you got to sell but, yeah. but also, let's so, be honest. <laughs> women are drinking. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or, yes. Yes. No, I've actually you gotta had try, some pretty good ones. You yeah. got to try the sodas, though. The sodas, like the, right now we have on a, it's called Dr. Spritzer. And obviously, it's Dr. Pepper. Yeah. Yes. Fantastic. I mean, it tastes like really? Dr. Pepper. Nice. Before that, we had a root beer. The next one we're going to do is an orange. So you have a root beer, and that would have killed me. I love root beer. So do I. That's my favorite soda. Is it kind of like yeah. not your father's root yeah. beer? Yeah. Yes. Nice. Yes. Nice. So the next one we're going to do is we're going back and forth on which version, either Fanta or Crush, orange. Oh, That's coming out in a couple oh, I'm sorry. Months. It should have Kelvin from King, like, uh, Cooper. No, it's gonna have meat on there. <laughs> no, no, I, it's my you line just, of beer. You just, go, you just go. I love orange soda. I do. I do. I do. We, <laughs> we can do a whole other thing with them because that, that'll be fancy or brush. Fancy. Yeah. I don't know. I've never been sunk as too, but the thing is, but the thing is, Fanta's I feel Fanta's marketing is a little more fun. Uh, yeah. So yes, it is. They, brush, they always, I agree is better. Yeah. So we're, I don't know, we're going back and forth. Who was it? Fanta. It was Fanta that had the girls that were dancing in the dresses. They were like, Fanta, 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 Fanta. And every time I was like, oh, my memory sucks. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no, no, this, this is great. I like this. Like, I, I feel like that I'm being thrown off, thrown through the, the cell by the table. Wait, <laughs> you know, yeah, the hardcore yeah, match. Yeah, yeah. Like, I feel like the King Dewey. So what do you, what do you think is from, actually going on right now? So Stephanie yeah, McMahon. Right? Well, so, a, lot, a lot of people tied it to the Saudi Arabia sale, which okay. I don't think that's the case. Stephanie was on leave. She took leave to spend time with her family before Vince, all this stuff came out with Vince. Right. So she filled in. So I think that's what it was. I think Stephanie... She's been associated with WWE since she was born. I think she's done. So like, I, think well, she, I think she was looking at Vince. That Vince yeah. came back and just took it back. Yeah, like she thought it was going to be hers. Well, right. I think what it is is I think when it gets sold, I think Stephanie gets re. Gets no, I think, back. I think the reason Vince came back to sell, he's going to try to sell to somebody that'll keep him on as a CEO. Yeah, because you know he still wants to run. But no, he's no, he's going to be back for Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia, though, because yeah. they need somebody to the business. But that's that's if he sells to Saudi Arabia, they might do that. But if he sells to Saudi Arabia, he's losing a lot of fan base. I'm telling you, I, 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 I just leave it at this. We don't yeah. need to get into it. To him. I, I hope he yeah. doesn't sell to Saudi Arabia. Yeah. I don't think that. I think that was just a. And the person who had initially said that. Their post was deleted that day because someone okay. came out and disproved that. Okay. And then they were like, the post that originally broke that news is now gone. I love that. So, well, I do. It, yeah, yeah. But it's like, and it, it was the day it's that, obvious. It was the day after like Stephanie that, resigned. It's yeah. yeah. And it's just like, yeah. that's the only know, reason that, I love it. I don't yeah. like that people are censoring yeah. things, but I'm just saying yeah. that. Yeah. That, for that to come out and then like immediately retract it, and it's well, like, my, you know that that was the fucking truth. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. So the stage is set for The Rock to come back. Absolutely, it is. 100%. Like the Rock is saying he's not in shape online. He's not in ring shape. Yeah, but if you're doing an acknowledgement ceremony with every with every, with every member family, family yeah. member, everybody's like, The Rock's not coming back. The Rock. I'm like, you're not getting it. Yeah. The Rock is the head of the table. Right. 
The Rock is the one. He's the movie star. He's the one. Yeah. Who, you know, he's for the people, the millions and the millions. He doesn't you need. Know, yeah. He doesn't need to be in yeah. shape to drop an elbow, yeah. a people's elbow, yeah. or like do. He doesn't yeah. need to be. He, he can come out, oh, drop a throw. Yeah. And when you look yeah. at it, he's shape shape on my worst yeah. day. What? Anyone's yeah. worst yeah. day. Yeah. That yeah. motherfuckers. Yeah. yeah. Like, that, that, I hate to wake yeah. up and do that. Terrible. It's better now than he was So I feel like the Rock is kind of somewhat losing a little bit of his movie star power yeah so yeah. coming back to wwe doing wrestlemania beating roman for one of the belts no he's he's it's got, gonna he's, renew got a little bit to do the minute like i think roman loses both belts I don't think so. because the rock doesn't need the royal rumble the rock can come back at raw yeah and challenge I, I, Roman again. I, I understand yeah, what's going to yeah, happen. Yeah, the Rock is going to make his presidential run. Well, <laughs> after becoming the people's champ, like like this is the people's president. You never know. Rock challenging. Play with that a little bit. Because yeah. 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 the Rock and Trump, that'd be amazing. Yes, boy. I would pay. That's yeah. pay per view worthy. Yeah. 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 But no, like look at it like this. Like both networks want a champion. Yeah. So they've expressed, right. you know, we don't want, you know, one guy to have both right. belts if each network wants a champion. Good for business. So you off. do WrestleMania is now two days. But if he yeah. loses one, so, it's got to be the, the world title because he's got to keep the universal because that's the one he's got the record with. Cody wins the Royal Rumble and then beats him he night two. I don't know. I don't know, man. Dude, Cody is going to win the Royal Rumble. That's the way it's going to work. It's not the Rock's going to win. Until four, maybe at 40. He really right. should. If he maybe doesn't, you, you can't know yeah. this. It's not. It's not it's real. Yeah, you, you don't know the odds. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But no, I mean that's the thing. Like, if Cody doesn't win the Rumble, I guarantee you he wins Money in the Bank, and then he oh, gets yeah, a convention. Yeah. So, but no, like I mean, there's just so many things going on. If you were to do a rock beer, what would you guys call it? People, something. People's the people's brutal. <laughs> the people. It should be a, a fine flavor. The people. Well, people's so like so far. Yeah. So far, we, I mean, I guess we could break this, but all oh, the rest of the have, have been IPAs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah well, yeah. It's, and, so all, it's been IPAs so far. So, like, we have, the, for the strudel thing, that's pretty good. Like, I don't yeah. know. The people yeah. strudel. And, yeah. and it's, it's like pretty, the drawing of the can can be the same when he said, you remember sure. the promo when he was with Lillian Garcia? Yeah. And he's like, Lillian, would you like to try to rock strudel? And she was like, more than anything else in the world. And he's like, what in the fool hell is the matter with you? You sick freak. The rock's trying to do it. And it should be that scene yeah. when the can that says, I mean, the people strudel. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. The rock, honestly, was my favorite. Yeah. yeah. Like, hands down, just because yeah. of his, and his he was demeanor, his attitude. Dude, for seven years. Like, his initial run was seven years. Yeah. From 96 to what was it? To have that big of an impact in a short time. Yeah. So, and, years, really, and, yeah. back for the yeah. and then what's the last one right, yeah. got? So, of so, course, yeah. we, we've had McFoley, we've had Dude Love, yeah. we've had Cactus Jack. Yeah. Now it's time for things to get the rain. It's dark. And we're moving on to Mankind it's dark. with Sokka. Yes. Right. So we are, we are, have, a nice day. have a nice day. And actually, if you look at the sock, it's actually a cat. And <laughs> oh, again, yeah. pops a cat. We like to hide little Easter eggs and everything. Yeah. So actually, we have. No, These so, are like marble. <laughs> it's yeah, way lazier and yeah. way less funded. And yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm making that yeah. much money. <laughs> Oh yeah, um, yeah. So we we do oh, a lot of black God. ride. Yeah. yeah. Oh. So this is a black ride. That's um, what came out of that bedpan that Austin hit McMahon with. <laughs> yes. <laughs> dark beers are that's one of the best. Yeah. Yeah. Ever seen. Oh, yeah. Dark beers. That's when uh, when Mick Foley kind of got put on the map. Yeah. He got a word that they gave him the hardcore title, and yeah. he was there. And he was well, like, that was for Mister uh, Selkie. Yeah. Since your life dropped, yeah. like, that right. promo is probably one of the most watched promos of all time. Yeah, dude. Dark beers are my thing. Like, it, I know there's That's families good. around, yeah. but like, it gets me. Like, it gets me going. Man. I taste Sako in my gut. Oh, right. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I, I, I think it's a good thing. Okay, like, all right, good, like, good. Who would let Foley put a stinking dirty sock in my mouth? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who wouldn't? Yeah. yeah. I would let Foley put anything in my mouth. Cut the feed. Cut the feed. Beer has rolled enough now that things are getting weird. <laughs> that is our That's show. Good. Yeah, this is definitely like, yeah, a, like a good, good. good. I, I think yeah. it's well, a good dark IPA. Right, dark. Yeah. 
I like darkness. So it's like I know, feel like when I drink this, then I'm able to put my tongue through my lip. Okay. After Hell in a Cell, and my tooth is in my nose. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I feel yeah. like if I drink enough of this, that's yeah. how I will be at the end of so, the night. So aren't they doing? They're not doing Hell in a Cell regularly anymore. Is it a special see, event? Yeah, yeah, like I, I agree with that because I feel like a year. Yeah, they do. We basically one a year. It was oversaturated. Yeah, you know, it was over, I, I like that. Yeah. I like their doing that. Yeah. make it like, more special. You know, Hell in the Cell should end. You. Yeah, that's the way it should be. Like, you know, Foley and the Undertaker. That ended their yeah. feud. Yeah. He almost killed them. <laughs> like, you know, like Chris Jericho and Triple H. Yeah. 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 You know, but. Yeah, I mean, I'm all for it, and I mean, man, like honestly, this is all great. Like, yeah, and, what you guys have going on here is absolutely I, I, fucking I phenomenal. And I'm going to pitch you. an idea to you. I know you guys are busy. You, you bring it's you strudel. No, gonna, the rock strudel. Like, you have been going for 42 <laughs> minutes so far. Okay, that's great. sweet. <laughs> but it's been like, 42 minutes. All I'm right, going to yeah. pitch an idea yeah. for you, and I threw this out at Hysteria Brewing. Okay, and they looked at me like I was crazy. All right. But you need to do a chocolate stout. Okay. Well, two girls, one can. See, that's that's the same reaction yeah. that hysteria had. And I then we went back. We went back, and I was like, yeah. "I'm telling you." I just don't, I don't have the balls to do it. it, it, be, it I don't like it's it. Female, yeah. it's <laughs> just holding a can. Yeah. And it's going two girls. And then it's on the viewer to, it's, it's your fault if you find something wrong. Like, yeah. like, it's like a chocolate yeah. stout. Yeah. Like, yeah. If your mind goes somewhere else, <laughs> yeah. it's, 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 it's way off. You're like, hey, I'm young. I've never seen that video. Before. I just, I thought of this. I don't watch that kind of stuff. Think any kid like, Near the nineties, seen that video, thousands. Oh yeah, imagine the generation now seeing that video. It's just gone. What? <laughs> now, anyway, Y'all were as a weird what, shit. What do you guys have worse by up? now? What all is going to be coming up here? After so, the so uh, this is kind of fun. So, all right. So, I talked about the start in the morning, the yeah. session IPA. So, if you look at the marketing, the marketing is Hops the Cat. Okay. He's, he's just waking up. The alarm clock says four o five because. That's what time I wake up for my other job. So okay. That's a little Easter egg on there. Yeah. So he's waking up. He's reaching over <laughs> to the alarm clock. Yeah. But he's, he's he's towards the alarm clock, but he's grabbing a beer. So that that's the uh, that's the imagery on that. Yeah. So the next scene, like the next thing on the next beer, is actually a non-alcoholic IPA. Okay. Um, called uh, oh man, I'm blanking on it. Anyway, <laughs> I, it'll come back to me. Uh, but you see, he's sitting in bed and he's holding two cans of beer. One is the start of the morning, and one is this new non-alcoholic. And um. He's, he's just trying to look. Like, there's a devil and an angel, and he's trying to decide do I drink a beer or do I drink a non alcoholic beer? Yeah. And then there's like a calendar where it's like January, like dry January kind of thing. He's yeah. a couple days checked off, and he's struggling already. <laughs> it's a couple things like that. So that's coming out soon. Um, we have Zane Lambert comedy show coming up on uh, February 22nd. Okay. Tickets going on sale okay. soon. Uh, we have man, we have trivia every Tuesday, which is thing. We have live music every uh, Friday okay. and Saturday. Uh, beer, wine, liquor, food, uh, arcade games. We have a lot of stuff going on. Now, what what about with your brews? What if you do a local legends series of beers? So we because we there's actually, a lot of Maryland wrestling legends. Yeah, and we talk to stars. One of them yeah. who we who we are we're very bro. good friends with. I've known Intr Bob forever. Intr introduce us. So we yeah. actually talked to MCW a couple times. Okay, about trying to have an event in here. Yeah, and the, so the problem is there's they have basically two rings they can use. The the standard. But it's too hot, yeah. Right, yeah. or they have a pony ring, which is shorter. There's a ring that they actually there's a company that our good friend, our old co host Mike, you saw him called AEW or AWL. I was gonna say, yeah, I know AEW. I, <laughs> that, it's, that, it's the whole thing, the legends are kicking <laughs> in. <laughs> Tony, Tony Khan, <laughs> sorry, Tony, sorry, yeah, yeah. Sorry, Tony Khan. I know you're probably you know rock hard about the fact that you think you're gonna buy WWE when no talks happen, <laughs> but. AWL was the company that he ran, okay. and he had a ring where you could spin the posts around, and it would be a pony ring. When AWL closed, uh, we sold that ring to Dan from MCW. Uh, so so that's it what they is have. that ring. So yeah. I have formed in that ring. So the problem with that is it becomes wider than yeah. the columns yeah. right here. Yeah. So that's why we, we, we did talk to them about maybe doing an autograph, like a signing kind of thing yeah. here, to have, yeah. have people show, personally show up and do something. But we just, I don't know, it's got to, this hasn't yeah. worked out. Well, we know, we are close with 
And we do something called the Happy Hour Podcast Indie Wrestling Roundtable. Okay. So we are cool with Chad Austin. Okay. I'm not sure if you know Chad Austin. He was in ECW for okay. a little bit. And also Bob Starr. Okay. Bob Starr helped train me. So maybe Basically. we can do the next roundtable here. Okay. And you guys can talk to them. Basically. And do like two Maryland legend beers here featured off them. Amazing. So, so I, 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 I'm listening to what you're saying. I'm loving all that. Yeah. But I'm just very curious now. What was your name? What was your move? <laughs> what, like, and well, why did you get out of it? Me? Well, one, like... I, I did it for about 20 some years. No so after that, I kind of retired. I worked Jake. I worked Julio De Niro. I worked, you know, I, there's a lot of guys Adam Cole, okay. Drew Gulak, um, all those guys, James yeah. Ellsworth, yeah. all those guys okay. I worked at one point in my yeah. career. It's so seeing all those guys get all that, you yeah. know, recognition, we've done a lot of stuff with Sam Moo. Okay. You know, yeah, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sandman, like we did a lot. So we did one of the next person we did Moscow Mule, and yeah. in the I'm wearing a different shirt in every one of them. I'm wearing a uh, Nikolai <laughs> Volkov, like, nice. like a shirt. Nice. Like a, that and we saw we saw Nikolai shout out to Stevie Riggs. We see Nikolai yell at Stevie Riggs in the back. We're eating pizza before his match. Really? Like he went on this whole tirade for why he shouldn't eat pizza just before pizza. his match. Yeah, just a slice of pizza. I mean, I like, gotta hear that story. Like, is there, like, but he just felt that like you shouldn't be eat like you shouldn't eat before your match. He's like, you shouldn't be eating that shit. Like you're gonna go under your foot and throw up. Like you know, and it's like Nikolai, you can't even get your foot up for a leg larry. Like come on now. Like so, but yeah. yeah so you know, I mean, yeah, it was so fun. Like I started off when I started off. Uh, I started training in 1999. Okay. I was 13. Wow. I turned 14 that following April. Wow. So I was 13. I was training with Bob Starr. You know, he was one of the head trainers. And then finally, later on in life, because you can't get licensed in Maryland until you're 18. Okay. So once I was 18, I was fully trained. I got licensed. My name was, uh, my first gimmick was Goldbump. Okay. I was a part of the Legion Among Good, okay. which was a band of evil villains that didn't know how to be evil villains. Okay. And we had our own custom-made ring gear. We had a cart that we came down to the ring with. And our gimmick, the first time I we ever showed up on a show, we brought out, we're like, we're bringing out our evil vehicle, you know, our evil villain vehicle. And it was a shopping cart that we called the danger cart that we painted up. And we're so excited. We had this big wooden ramp. Yeah. So I pushed it out and Dr. X, it was, it was Gold Thumb, Dr. X, and Mr. E Machine. Okay. And right. so we come out and I'm so excited that I'm not paying attention. The whole one side of the cart is off of the stage. Okay. So as soon as I go to push forward, oh, the no. cart flips. <laughs> you just see Dr. X go, ah! So like down to the ground, and you hear everybody in the crowd yeah. go all the way around to the boys in the back laughing. And as soon as we went in the back, yeah. they were like, "That's your that, yeah. You guys have to do that yes. every time." Oh, so the that's guy amazing. who played him, West, shout out the West. He was like, "I hate you," yeah. because now that's that's yeah. our thing when we come down for the entrance. Yeah. And then eventually in 2007, they broke us off. Okay. I now, when, when, he, when he was gold thumb, the only time we wrestled before he was gold thumb, we were in a hardcore match. <laughs> it was the first hardcore match. Okay. Yeah. It was supposed to be a barbed wire match. That was a giant spool of barbed wire. They were supposed to wrap the rope. They forgot yeah. to wrap the rope. So we just yeah. had this giant spool of barbed wire. <laughs> he's, he's in the corner working, punching their guy. Yeah. I got to do something. I just pick it up and I throw it at him. <laughs> <laughs> and he never lets me forget that. Like, he threw a giant roll of barbed wire at him. Because he's that, was, the scar yeah, too. that was the first match I ever did to have barbed wire or anything like that. Yeah, with it, you and Blood did that. Oh, yeah, we've been it for years. Okay. Yeah. I didn't really associate. We didn't know what he got himself to do. <laughs> I remember you came down to the ring with the hatchet, yeah, and you wrapped me in the barbed wire. That's right. And me being gold thumb because it's a comedy gimmick, I took your hatchet. And I'm trying yeah, to cut the like barbed bar bar wire or while I'm wrapped yeah. with, with the hatchet. Yeah. So that's amazing. They I had a hatchet on hard, Harvey the hatchet. <laughs> 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 I know how slow to talk to the head. Yeah, it's not even with the hatchet. <laughs> so you sold his gimmick. Yeah. But you hit your head. Yeah, that makes sense. No, they broke us up. I took the man. Mask off, and uh, I became Chase Rawlings after that. So okay. Chase Rawlings, okay. you know, after that, all the way through, yeah. at, towards the end of my career, I did a gimmick called Mr. Happy Hour, okay. which this is the Happy Hour yes. part. So nice. it carries through. It always has that wrestling background. I was Mr. Happy Hour Chase okay. Are you carrying it through back into it? 
And you know, if, if I ever got approached to do a show, like I my my last my last official match was 2019. Okay. When the EWA they did the EWA and they brought me back. Start wrestling because I broke yeah. my neck. And, oh, and, 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 yeah. <laughs> I came back and it's crazy because right now I'm like, I'm walking. I'm walking. Yeah, that's right. Congrats. I'm 278 right now. Okay. And when I went back for that show, I was about what the weight I am now. And I was like, look, I want to go back and look better than I ever looked my entire career. Okay. I busted my ass, got down to 220. Yeah. Like, and like, even I was in the best shape of my entire what life. What's that? That was 2019. Oh, uh, when you were. Yeah. Right, and then right, COVID right. hit yeah. after that. Yeah, I gained a lot and of you became a fat bitch. Yeah. <laughs> like everyone else. But no, I went back and that was my last match. But it's the thing that, you know, and even Cypher Teams can contest because that was his wrestling name. He got high and legally changed his name to Cypher <laughs> That's why we call him that. Yes. But, you know, it, it's the whole thing of every day I wake up. Yeah. I think of being a pro wrestler. Okay. So regardless, but this, Once this is a good old wrestling. wrestling. Yeah. Yeah. You know, this is a good alternative. You yeah, know, I sure. told my wife, I was like, I still older. need to entertain. You know, I still yeah. need to find yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. So our regular weekly show, plus, you yeah. know, being able to go on through this local thing. Yeah, yeah. You know, so. Uh, this is awesome. You know, man. I'm but, glad to be a part of it. Yeah. yeah. So and I mean, like, you see, like, we just kind of roll along. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm into yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. That's, that was, that's the original yeah. idea of all this. Yeah. Shoot the shit with everybody. Yeah. And then, I mean, that's good stuff. So, cool. but, we love. but anyways, man, we're gonna let you get back. Okay. To you know, doing what we're doing. Yeah, we're doing the bar. Doing what we're doing. Yeah. 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 So actually, so I work a full time job outside of this. Yeah. I work at a coal power plant. Um. Oh, so wow. one of my that's my a job. That is, that's, that's like job. man, yeah. man yeah. job. That's a man <laughs> job. Uh, it's almost like the job that guy has on TikTok, cutting at like cutting trees with that axe. Like, I mean, I'll, I'll take all the credit. Like, it's not, it's, it's, he's like, you know, thanks. <laughs> I'm a man, thanks. Yeah, but the, so my, my last supervisor uh, just got a job somewhere else. He, he was with the company for 35 something years. Wow. And uh, so he got another. So we're having this going away party here for that. Oh, nice. So we should have a pretty good group of those guys coming nice. in too. So I'm going to have to go get yeah. there. I know you guys have like, you have something going on at six. So we're going to try to wrap it at six. Yeah. Okay. You cool. know, then that way we're done. We don't take away from that or, yeah. you know, anything like that. But man, we're going to talk to some of the patrons here, see what their favorite brews are, see if they've tried. The you know hardcore legends and you know all that good stuff, but no man, we thank you we so much. It. I'll be around. So if you want to, yeah. if you got some questions, I'll answer yeah. some more questions. Yeah. So We're gonna on. shoot some video, get cool. you know some of the stuff, of course, all those. And uh, man, yeah. once again, so we appreciate it. Thank you, Socrates. Thank you so much. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Cool. All right. Hey, this is Tucker Lutz. You're watching the Happy Hour podcast. In a world full of hunger and thirst, one restaurant will attempt to satisfy these cravings forever. Meet our hero, the cheeseburger, and his salty partner, Crab Dip Tater Tots. Together with local craft beer, they take the fight to hunger. With a special appearance by Cupcake Milkshake, they... Ah, ah. Vagabond Sandwich Company. Better making food than making commercials. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Happy Hour Podcast. We're here at Full Tilt Brewing, and we're sitting here with Nick. So, Nick, do you come here? How often do you guys come to Full Tilt? Is this your first time? This is my second time here. Second time? I, uh, I used to live right down the road at Towson University. I used to come here with my girlfriend, now fiance. Uh, oh, shout out, fiance. Well, congratulations. <laughs> congratulations. You. You. No, you're an alcoholic. Uh, no, <laughs> you haven't discovered that yet. Keeping that under the radar. Uh, I've you never know. drank a beer ever in my life. <laughs> yeah, let's, 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 yeah, let's give it a couple of years. And then we'll, uh, say, you know, I got some issues. No, but yeah. uh, but this place is awesome. It's, yeah. uh, last time we've been here, uh, they didn't have all these arcade games oh, and stuff. Yeah. Um, so it's pretty neat. Yeah. Well, uh, they, it, actually, the, the one owner, Nick, that we just talked to, yeah. he said that during COVID, they had to take all the games out. Okay. So that might be why. Right, was, right. That, that's probably one of the reasons uh -huh. they had to get different ones put in. So. Yeah. Coming in here, have you played any of the games? I have not played any games. Actually, I lied to you. I did play the little Pac-Man over there. The little Pac-Man. If the viewers can please, see. Please tell me. <laughs> I, I, I took video of it. So everybody will be able to see it at home. Yep. But please tell me you kind of squatted. I did like, kind squat, of like, if you've not... ever seen, like, Billy Madison when he squats. Yes, just, like, yes, exactly. Like, like, that. like that, but yeah. playing the little Pac-Man. <laughs> right, yeah. That was, uh, I don't think it's functional. I think they'll have a screen as, oh, you shit. know, for the kids. Okay. For the kids. Okay. So which, the, is, the, which is cool. The kids think that they're playing. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. that's what counts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. The kids don't think they're involved. Yeah. The child, the effect that they're drunk. 
Exactly. Without being drunk. Right, they get the yeah. punch, they get the full experience. Because yeah. if I play really. Blitz yeah. for like an hour without actually playing Blitz, yeah, yeah, yeah. if I've had enough to drink. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. What are you drinking, man? What do you, what do you got? I'm drinking the uh, Royale cheese. Okay. Uh, the Crown Royale cheese. Okay. Uh, it's an Does American lager. It tastes lager. like Crown Royale and like cheese? No, to be honest with you. <laughs> tastes like a fancy Miller Lite. You know, which which is kind of my uh my taste. I'm a big Miller Lite guy. But I you know I love supporting local. You know, when, it, yeah. when you boil everything down, it's about supporting the local community. Definitely, um, definitely. which is what I'm all about. It sounds like you guys you're about yeah. that too. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I mean our podcast is worldwide. We do it mainly, you know, weekly with all kinds of different guests, but then like this is a sub show fully fermented. We're like, let's do a local feature. Yeah. You know, so that's what we started to do. I right. went out, got the banner. We're like, screw it. Let's yeah. just talk to people. Yeah. So have you tried? Are you one? Are you a wrestling fan? Uh, no, I'm not. Okay. You need to try some of the hardcore legend beers. These right. are based off of wrestling legend Mick Foley. Okay. So they're, these are only, they're limited. Yeah, so yeah. make sure you go try them. All right. Yeah, yeah, they're awesome. Like, yeah, yeah. Nick brought them over player. Uh, we got to try all kinds. What kind um, of beers are they? Um, I wish I could remember. I would say, but, um, let's see. So, does it say it when these? He explained them to us what, what they were. Okay, so this one's, see, yeah, it doesn't say on the can. So, oh, so Black Rye IPA. Okay. Easy Double IPA. Yeah. And uh, that's a fruited hazy IPA. And then oh, what's that one, Matt? So, yeah. The West Coast Double IPA. Yes, yeah. 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 <laughs> so, Matt, know Matt knows all about yeah. the Willie Nelson action. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But no, so, man, so how long have you, like, how often do you come out to areas like this? Of course, we're going to be at Zen West on February 4th. Okay. Nice. So, you know, how, how often, like, like, of course, the Baltimore bar scene and just eating scene and music scene in general oh, yeah. is phenomenal. It is. Unfortunately, it is we have a lot of murders. <laughs> murders, yes. Yeah. We have a lot okay. of well, you got to do with the So, you know, okay. what, what do you think is probably one of your best go-tos here, here. Of course, this is your second time here. So what, yeah. what other places would you... I would say my uh, my go-to is uh, Miller... Uh, not Miller. Think about Miller Light City. Banner <laughs> Hill Tavern of Penelope City. Nice. That is my go-to. Uh, I love their IPA. I love all the all the staff there are excellent. I don't know if you guys have been there. No, we do uh, not. If, if not, you should definitely try it out. It's okay. cool. Um, it's, just, it's a cool vibe. It's yeah, old Elkid City is oh yeah a staple of Maryland, especially when it's not like eighteen feet deep in water. Yeah, you might like, have it's the best. I would love, I would love to live there, but yeah, you know, I don't. I have a lot of cool stuff. I think in my house. You know, this thing called a uh, yeah. it's an Xbox One and <laughs> Channel on Twenty Three, and I fucking love. Yeah, uh, so I don't want that to get damaged, and I don't want to die. Yeah, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I would say yeah, Manor Hill Tavern's great. Uh, Union right okay. off eighty three yeah. uh, yeah. over in Woodbury, Hampton area. That's awesome. Uh, there's so many. There's such a good local scene here. Uh, you know, a lot of people when they think about Baltimore, they they see all the bad, they see the murder, oh, yeah. they see all the homicides. It's they think of. Meanwhile, we have some of the most hardcore football and baseball yeah. fans. Around, you know, right. wrestling yeah, comes dude, down. The, the entertainment in general, it's oh, really yeah. good. I mean, yeah. it's Charm City. Everyone's trying. It's a lot of yeah. blue collar, a lot of you know, putting your eight hours, go home, yeah, you know, sweat it out. And... Now, is there any game that you want to play before you leave? Now, we were told that Blitz is back there, so Blitz. I might hit up Blitz myself. Yeah, but is there any games around here that you saw, or are you going to try to activate that Pac Man again? <laughs> I I would say I might go for the hoops. I mean, oh, uh, okay. I didn't pop the shot yeah. per se. He said um, uh, that they had NBA Jam at one point. Do they? And I was like, oh, they don't have it now. But yeah. when they first opened, they had NBA Jam. I was like, oh, right, that's right. fucking yeah. awesome! I no. would kill an NBA Jam. What they do need it here is uh, an Xbox and some NHL. Oh, oh that would be. Fun. Look up an Xbox of that. Yeah. Actually, look. That looks like it might have some of the game. Get straight yeah. Finder, dude. So it's like I'm a street dude. Dude. So it's the whole thing. I'm at that game, game but <laughs> if it comes to GTA or NHL, we're golden. But anything else? How about well, this? Well, look, it's got. Do you have an joystick? So I do not have an Oculus. You need to get an Oculus. Is that the 3D? Yeah. That's the VR thing. The VR thing. Yes. Yeah. This motherfucker. It takes you. It takes you places. Yeah. Yeah. He has a game. Mental. Phone class. 
and he's walking around spiritually. Burger King. And he had someone locked in their basement, right? Interrogating him uh-huh. as the king from right. Burger King. He did a drug deal yeah. where there were burgers in the trunk. Uh-huh. And yeah. Yeah. Was yeah, yeah, that's great. Yeah, the VR yeah. stuff that's so is nuts. absolutely is, insane. Yeah. So wow. long. So yeah. long. Yeah. a little carried away. <laughs> you can tell. No, definitely. I have done a. Uh, I have my uh my cousin Charlie. Shout out Charlie, if you're listening to this. Um, he's about, I think he's around eight ten. He has a VR and uh, he has the roller coaster one. Oh yeah, the one where you walk out on that board on the big skyscraper. Um, it's pretty. It's pretty cool. Why are you doing that little edible? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do. You download the Jurassic Park one. Uh-huh. That's really exactly. cool. Because you're walking yeah. around, and you look around, and there's dinosaurs just ever. Right. So, That's cool. But, anyways, man. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you for talking yeah, thanks to for us. Having me. Quick question for you. Yeah. So you guys, you're touring a. Uh, uh, bars, you know, local local beer places. Do you dabble into the uh, the uh, devil's lettuce uh, dispensary world at all? I mean, as that far as that guy right there, <laughs> educate me. So I think that would be a great idea for the. Well, yeah. well I, I I do not like. Well, we don't. We don't go to like dispensaries and stuff. But like, if well, since I mean, we, it, well, since Maryland since it's being legalized and yeah, stuff, yeah. I think we would have a little bit more leeway. Yeah. Because before it's all like, oh, you know, marijuana. Yeah. Being that world like you, YouTube and stuff, that some stuff gets censored. And we don't, yeah, we're yeah. not sure. Going into that realm, sure. You get the strikes or whatever. I, I will definitely fucking explore that. Because yeah, I, be, I, be I'm more of a, I love drinking, but yeah. marijuana is my thing. Matt yeah. showed I'm up like, and I smelled him. Right. When he showed up he at my house. Like, yeah, yeah. 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 Like, like, <laughs> Matt came in, I was like, Matt. Yeah. yeah. I can smell you, but, right, but, right. but no, like we actually, we know a, a former NFL player, Vincent Painter. Okay. He yeah. comes at the True. center. Right. So Who's we're going to try to go out and do this. It's, it's up in, uh, where the hell is that? It's like, Whitehall. Yeah, it's Whitehall. in Whitehall. Whitehall. Somewhere like that. Yeah. So yeah. we're going to try to go up there, yeah. you know, That'd talk to him with that. Yeah, so, that but yeah, like anything that's kind of like local, yeah, yeah. we want to do here on our fully fermented show, right. you know. Right. And all that. That's cool. I think in the next 10 years with you know, July 1st, 2023, oh, yeah. right, right. Um, there's going to be a lot of recreational spending. Oh, yeah, yeah. Without right. question. And those are million dollar businesses. Oh, yeah. Yeah. People make bank yeah. on those businesses. Yeah. So I wish it was something that I knew a little bit more about. Because you can make a lot of money. Yeah, I'll Dude, tell you. I'll tell you this now. You smoked the bachelor party. They threw up. So. Well, you know, there's two stories that I smoked you right smoked. there. I was there. He had never smoked those bachelor parties. <laughs> he had a long day. Yeah. He just smoked off hot dogs. Oh my god, it's not good. Full hot I dogs. I almost threw up on the stripper. Yeah, she's <laughs> giving me a lap dance, and I feel all the food here. Oh my! And I'm just like, I'm sitting there, and I'm paralyzed. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm gonna throw up. Right. This is gonna happen. I've I've never been to a strip club, but I can imagine that that'd be very uncomfortable. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I'm a big believer in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Uh, I'm joking about that. I'm not. <laughs> I was gonna uh, say you probably should said, not watch some of our other content. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, but yeah. Well, cool. Thanks for having me on the show. No yeah, problem. Pleasure meeting you guys. I uh, yeah. hope to see you at the uh the next local uh yeah. local local shindig. Yeah, definitely. All their social medias are right there. And uh, thanks for talking to us, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Appreciate it, guys. Hey, it's me, Natasha Nice, and you guys are watching the Happy Hour podcast. Approximately 27 members of the Hell's Gate cult have been arrested for arson. Authorities suspect that this group of religious extremists are responsible for the large string of residential fires that have been plaguing Miami-Dade County. The Hell's Gate followers aim to achieve the next level of human evolution by summoning demons through their depraved sexual rituals. These demons then take possession of their bodies, opening a direct gate to hell.
is Scott Page, and I got to tell you, this is one of the coolest podcasts you'll ever know. This is the, what is it again? Happy Hour Podcast. Happy Hour Podcast. I forgot. <laughs> anyway, this is a really cool podcast. Hey, man, I'm really thankful to be here. But anyway, this is Scott Page, and you're listening to, and you check out the Happy Hour Podcast. It is one of the coolest podcasts I've been on. I love you guys. It's really been fun. Hello, my name is Bubba Olmany. I am a bodyguard who has been in the security industry for over a decade. My team and I offer a variety of security services that cover all aspects of security operations. We have secured some of the highest profile clients and largest events in the world. Should your situation require armed protection, we have the ability to carry in all 50 states and U.S. territories. Not only do we have the latest security equipment, we also have world class training. We look forward to assisting all of your security needs by bringing you the finest and most dedicated security personnel available. From the office of the President of the United States to local county and state dignitaries, my tactical dignitary protection officers are the tip of the spear in this extremely competitive industry. Let my highly trained staff protect the asset today. We can be contacted via the email and number below. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, of course, we're here at Full Tilt Brewing. This is the Happy Hour Podcast, fully fermented. We're sitting here with Steve. Steve, how you doing, brother? Yeah, doing great. <laughs> I've got my almost favorite Guinness here. Great in house. Yeah. This is the bomb. It's got some cookies and cream in it. Oh, it's so good. And nice. Good. Nice, down. nice, nice. And of course, you're smoking good. a cigar. Are you a certain kind of brand? For cigars, or is it just <laughs> if it looks something like this? I buy it. I don't like a real dark, like a Cuban yeah. partial cigar. I like a mod, like a Honduran or a Nicaraguan. Like nice, nice. Now, are you a food so regular? Do you come here often? Is your visiting my mom in Florida? Visiting my mom and my best friend, his uh, BGE buddies are here for the party. So just doing it in the party. Nice. So you're from Florida. Yeah. So you're you're pretty much like everybody thinks Baltimore is so dangerous because of murders and all that. But you guys have the elusive Florida man. So <laughs> all we do all kinds of articles on our regular show, like crazy news articles, and ninety percent of them start off with Florida man. So being from Florida, have you seen any of that crazy shit that goes on in Florida all the time, like a naked man yelling in Taco Bell or something like that? That's a while, but. Thank God for, for the people we have in charge in Florida. They, they get eliminated quickly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like when you say eliminated, like is that the kind of thing that they take them out? Or is it just like a guy with a rifle that just walks in and just shoots them? So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell you, there's a lot of those heavy duty people that are full contractors. Yes. Yeah. You can put a body in there. Wow. So I just want to point that out. <laughs> now, uh, is there anything in general, like, of course, is this your first time at Full Tilt? Yeah, well, my buddy, like I said, my best friend invited me here. I never had any He said one of his co workers bought the place and made it early. So he, I guess he returned to the GE and is now with no shot. Yeah, and you should you should try one of the hardcore legend beers. I'm not sure if you're a wrestling fan and know who Mick Foley is. No, but they're all based off of Mick Foley. So I think the, honestly, I think my favorite, Matt. I don't know if you can say, but I think my favorite is honestly this, one, which is that the fruited hazy IPA. The dude loves. So the dude loves. Okay, well, one. I'm not. I'm not a beer connoisseur. My go-to is Scotch. But oh, I have a story for you. I got in love with Guinness. Okay. Uh, I'm a retired veteran. Okay. So thank you for your service, by the way. My dad was in Vietnam. Thank you. Well, we were on our way to Afghanistan when she hit the fan back in 03. Okay. There were so many flights going from here over there. They had no military airlift left, so they contracted a civilian Russian airlift. So we had to refuel it. We can't do that on the stitch. So yeah. we had to stop in Shannon, Ireland to refuel it. Oh. Now, you got to hear this. Yeah. The, the stupid Russian airline did not get clearance to leave Shannon, Ireland to continue into our trip to Afghanistan. They were grounded. 
We're sitting in, uh, they told us first that we got off just to refill. We're yeah. sitting there. 12 hours later, they tell us we don't, we can't take off. They don't have clearance to take off for the next leg of the flight. Oh. So the Russian airliner had to put us up downtown, Shannon Island, in a four star hotel. We drank Guinness four days straight. Pure Guinness. Pure Guinness. Pure Guinness. Pure Guinness. Pure Guinness. Pure Guinness. Right there, Shannon Island. <laughs> nice. I'm jealous. Nice. But, and <laughs> this was all paid for yeah. by the Russian that, airline. That's what we are right now. Thinking, oh, my God. <laughs> and and, and well, once we had to eat three meals a day, served to us. Okay. Would you like anything else? Yes, I'll bring it. And we ate like pigs and drank in nice. And then we got to go on the shit of Afghanistan for six months. Oh, but it was a we nice had fun before we got there. Exactly. We had fun before we got there. Now, you said you're a big Guinness guy. Of course, right down here in Baltimore, we have Guinness Open Gate Brewer. I need to go there and check that out. Well, no, my Guinness come back. Yeah. Um, my my itinerary is heading out tomorrow, but. I'll be back. His mom lives here, so yeah. come Definitely. visit mom. Always come visit Baltimore, man. Like, aside from the senseless murders that we have, Baltimore is a great place to be. Great food, great breweries. Get to an Orioles game if you ever get a chance to. It's amazing. But, brother, no, thank you for talking to us. We appreciate it. And uh, awesome. Thank you for your service, man. I appreciate that. I have my dad's flag hanging right on my mantle. Every show we do, everybody sees it hanging up back there. So, so yeah. But, no, man, Ireland, I can't even imagine how much of chaos and madness. So, like, now, oh, and, and you know, like, like, was Ireland the only place you had to visit? Or did you get to drink, like, other places? Like, the other places were just fuel the fuel. Okay. Let me tell you, can I finish a little bit yeah, about Shannon yeah, Ireland? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that we couldn't leave. They okay. couldn't figure out how to do it. So in Shannon, they don't allow any military flights because okay. of their you know, the, the logistics yeah. or the laws. And so we were stuck there. They couldn't figure out how to get us because there's no flights. So in the darkness of night, we were all gathered at the airport with all our shit, and we had to run and get on the C-130. As soon as it stopped, it took off again. It was a stop and go. Quick to C-130, stopping and landing. You can imagine. And we all got out four days later. And then we got to go to Afghanistan. Man, sounds like you've seen some shit. You've been able to do some shit. I can't tell you more about Afghanistan, but I don't want to take it long. No, man, we appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for uh, coming on the show. Enjoy, hang out, try some food, play some video games, man. Yeah, I like these games. Bikes right. over there playing pinball. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. But yeah, they, they got they got all kinds of cool stuff here. That's a great place to come. So yeah. you have a little too many of those, you can just squat down and play one of the channel games. Like, yeah. <laughs> Like, while I'm yeah. belly up to the bar, I can play the child. Yeah. 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 That's cool, man. All right, thanks. Thank God, God I got the wife to drive. <laughs> See, we told them right. when we first got here, I was like, I can always have the wife come get us. Yeah. <laughs> All right, brother, we right. appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.